So John, you shared many an honourable battle with Billy McNeil on the field, but tell us about his character off the pitch, because you built up quite a good relationship. Yeah, he was always uh, an out-and-out gentleman. Um, always treated me with the greatest respect, uh, and uh, we enjoyed a lot of uh, times helping charities and different things off the field. We didn't like so much each other so much on the field, but uh, I never got as far up the park to get a kick at him anyway. But um, no, he, he, he's a, he was a good, good friend, and uh, I was very sad to see him passing away. And on the pitch, you mentioned it there. What was he like to come up against? What was he like to play? <sighs> he was like a giant. I mean, uh, uh, he was too good looking to be a centre half. And I always feel a good centre half's got a broken nose, but he never seemed to do that. But um, Apart from being a great defender, Billy, Billy uh, scored so many goals because he was great in the air and uh, he was always one of the things we had to watch when we were playing against him. As if there was plenty of other problems in the team as well, their team, that team as well. It was a great Celtic side.